Should we put her out? Oh, <laughs> yes, her. I haven't given her a name yet. <laughs> oh, yes. Everybody peer pressured me into buying a Keyblade. I don't know what to do with it except sleep with it and hold it every night. <laughs> so it's going to be right here, and if it gets too rowdy, I'm going to bang it like a gavel. <laughs> Chip has now found true love. Yeah. Uh, well, since the, since the doors are closing, I think that's my cue to start. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Let's Play panel. I am Should Clint. Bring up the slides. No. Okay. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's right there. How does this computer work? We can't and so are we, are we decided that we can't do full screen? Are we just... it, Google Drive requires the internet to make the PowerPoint slide and full screen. And we don't have a Wi-Fi signal right now. Yeah, so whatever. So bear with us as we don't do full screen on this. Uh, yeah, hi. Welcome to the Let's Play panel. I am Clint. I do not Let's Play, but if I can get a quick plug out of the way first. Uh, I, I, Ironicus knows yeah. me from Easy. the Alka Hollywood podcast. Uh, yeah. Did I get a, did I get a woo? <laughs> you guys, you guys are awesome. Anyway, now the now the panel's about me. Uh, no, it's for those of you who don't know, it's a film review drinking games podcast where we'll take a new uh, movie every week and do a drinking game and make a cocktail for it. Uh, Ironicus will be on the show in a few weeks talking Five about Silent Hills Club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Talking about Silent Hill though. So I think that might be... That'll go up on the 15th? Yes, because yes. uh, all this next month we'll be doing video game adaptations. So if you want a drinking game to your favorite video game movie, alcoholhollywood.com. Plug over. All right, now that that's out of the way, I would like to introduce my esteemed panel of Let's Players. Uh, first, since we're not going in order of seating, uh, Chip Cheesem. Hi, that's me. That is this person. <laughs> <laughs> How does a mouse work? Yeah, uh, Chip started making LPs in the summer of 2008 and has made a reputation uh, for his skill and knowledgeability. His, uh, some of his popular LPs include the entire Metal Gear Solid series, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, and Bastion. And uh, Chip could, would not be complete without Ironicus. Uh, he is Chip. <laughs> so now, now we know who, who, likes, who likes you better. Uh, Ironicus is Chip's contact partner. Jet all the way. <laughs> yes. Uh, but he's done a few projects on his own, including a screenshot LP of the U Testament and LP D&D. He is currently the GM in the tabletop podcast, Let's Play the 13th Age. Now, moving on. I don't know why I have a paper copy, and then I'm also looking at the copy on the end. But anyway. Because the paper copy has a speaker note. Don't let them know. Okay. Uh, next is Voidburger, all in the end. Uh, she is an LPR specializing in the Silent Hill series. She's also made an eye riff of the Silent Hill movie and is working on a YouTube video series about the Silent Hill games called The Great Debate with Kamat. In 2011, she wrote the Let's Play primer for 1UP.com. She's currently LPing The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's, Oogie's Revenge Against Her Better Judgment. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then next is Jeb. Jeb has made five LPs. Jeb. Geoff. It's like Geoff. Jeff. I like to think it's Jeff, but just so... Uh, no, you don't want to use the name Jeff. Right? Want to use Jeff. <laughs> Fine. Geoff Fine. has made five LPs. His work on Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 is known for inserting quick history lessons to put the game's events and characters in context. He forgot to change the slide. <gasps> he doesn't deserve a slide. I have to flip a paper and I'll just use the LPs. You have to use I know. Uh, and then finally, we have Kamak. Kamak, uh, as, as Kamak, he LP'd Silent Hill Homecoming by using YouTube annotations to make the videos into an innovative choose-your-own-adventure experience. As, as she sells, she sells, as she sells, she shells, <laughs> I've never been one for tongue twisters, uh, he creates the YouTube Reacts video series. As Bob, he collaborated with Voidburger on their Silent Hill iRiff and The Great Debate. As Tortoise on Tour, he tweets stuff. All right, now that we know who everyone is, uh, let's get started. What, what's an LP? <laughs> Where do LPs come from? come from? Okay, well, you, you see, it's really complicated. Is this, you, do you know what video games are? I'm familiar. Okay, well, you take a video game, and then you talk over it, and then you put it on the internet, and then people watch it, and some of it's, them might think it's pretty It's funny. a game plus commentary. Yeah. And it's, that can take any sort of forms. I mean, you're, you're counting out uh, uh, subtitled videos. I'm like actually, there. you're right. Actually, it could also be screenshot LPs. Mm -hmm. Come on. For man. the Japanese role playing games. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a real shame that people only talk about screenshot LPs as things that don't work for video instead of games that are just really good as screenshots. Yeah, there's some really good ones out there, especially like the main one I'm always thinking of, which isn't even finished yet. And if she hears this, I hope she finishes it, is Hello Winter's uh, Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. 
It's uh, great. It's really good, and everybody said that it was one of the like un LPable games where it's just such a weird like novel format with like a lot of important timing, but the visuals don't change that much. But it's also a lot of like important music cues to it that kind of really makes the game. And she like really was able to do that through just screenshots and, and like, uh, just the time it takes to put a screenshot update together. It gives you a lot of uh, uh, perspective and time to reflect. Like with um, with the U Testament, I just decided, well, what happens if I look up all the Bible verses it's quoting? And it turns out every single one was taken out of context and interpreted in the opposite way. And there was one that didn't even exist. Yeah. <laughs> and I would never have known that if I was just recording a video. Well, that guy didn't have time to research anything. Look that. at a Bible? He didn't have time to look at a Bible. <laughs> it's been around a while. He didn't have time to research that because he had to put in all the Eminem quotes into the loading screens. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting away from the point, yeah. really. It's just game plus commentary. And I think that is. Sort of, uh, so not, yeah. I finally put the slide up. It, uh, it came around in its current form around 07, although people have been taking videos of video games since there have been video games mm -hmm. uh, for just like um, any reason. But it, it got the name Let's Play in 07, and shortly after is when it sort of blew up on YouTube. Yeah. It was and like... now it's the scene we know today from there. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, what sets LPs apart from other like YouTube videos about games like long plays and, and things like that? I think it's uh, the completion. Uh, you get the whole game uh, and you get it as played instead of, uh, and, and you get it as experience. You get reactions, yeah. you get, it's, it's sort of like TCM for video <laughs> games. Yeah. You know, you, you get to look back and see what the world thinks of it now and you, you make a community out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you all get started uh, doing LPs? I will sport? wait to go last on this one because I feel like an asshole right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, Voidberger, why don't you go first? Um, I was bored in college and had a bunch of uh, <laughs> projects to do. I was in art school, so there was a lot of like, a lot of hands-on things. I didn't. I needed something on in the background. I found uh, Pokey Cat and Sonic 2006 Let's Play, and I think that was the first Let's Play I ever saw, and that is a really really funny let's play and i think it still stands up it's like old now but you know and so i watched that i was like what is this interesting genre of videos and i started looking up other games i was like oh i should look up my favorite game series silent hill and the only ones that were there were screenshot lps which i thought was kind of a shame because there's a lot of uh, ambient sound and music and like that game is so much about the atmosphere it's like you don't really get that with screenshots, at least not in those, uh, not in that LP, because I don't think he had any like tin decks of the music or yeah. anything like that. So I was like, oh, that's a shame. And Silent Hill Origins just came out that year. And I was like, oh, and this is a really, really bad Silent Hill game. No one's ever going to let's play this. I should do it. There's an unlockable fursuit in it, so I kind of had to. <laughs> nice. Um, Jeff, what about you? My name is Jeff. <laughs> okay. Um, not really much to it. I kind of uh, stumbled into LP because somebody referred me to, oddly enough, when they were going through Metal Gear Solid 3, someone sent me a video and I kind of just mingled around for a while. And uh, I don't know, I just decided to try one at some point. And I don't know, I feel kind of weird because Voidberger <laughs> had a much more elaborate, <laughs> long winded thing. I'm kind of like, I don't know, felt like doing it. Good enough. <laughs> I had a free afternoon one day. I think that's the common thread yeah. between everyone. Me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was, looked like fun. Yeah, it was, yeah. I, I just had a really bad job as a dishwasher at Old Country Buffet, and I was terrible. And I was, he was over for the summer, and yeah. I just kind of roped in. I like Beyond Good Evil. You want to talk over this? Thing? I actually, I actually it tried. Beyond Good Evil or Penumbra. Or Penumbra. And actually. The path not traveled. Actually, I could start with horror games, yeah. Actually. I had actually tried Let's Plays before that, but never uploaded them because they were so bad. It was originally there was there used to be a, a thing called the, the Let's Fail thread. Yeah, and like two like what raised Let's Play. It was like a physics-based Super Nintendo Japanese platformer oh. with a fishing rod. Oh, well, and it no, turned no. out like garbage. Oh no! Wow. What is no that? No one will ever see this. Oh no! I can't remember what that it's game is. It's got a very Japanese called. name. I know what it the, is. The sequel yeah. just came out on the 3DS, and it's called like Yumi's Bizarre Odyssey or something like that. Yeah, bizarre, now. right? Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> I also tried to do a solo Let's Play Penumbra, which was terrible because I didn't know what to say. So I was just like pulling drawers out and like throwing things. Like I'm gonna throw this thing. Uh, I started at the exact same time. Yes. 
uh, I saw his Facebook post, like, I'm going to make all this play. Should I do Penumbra or should I do Beyond Good and Evil? I'm like, you son of a bitch, you do Beyond Good and Evil, and I'm doing it with you. <laughs> <laughs> We're very glad you did that, because that would yeah. be terrible by myself. Yeah. And, I mean, it started, and it still continues, as a way for me to keep in touch and do something with, like, my best friend from high school. And now that we're both graduated college, mm -hmm. it's it's something that forces us to keep in touch because I'm really, really bad at that. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, well. well, now that we know why you started, why do you guys keep doing it? Um, what about you? Because I like it. You guys like it. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't, it's enjoyable. I like doing it. And I'm kind of moderator now, so I think you kind of have to do them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like under contract now. Mm -hmm. By the way, you have to do three a year. I do like eight a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stop, man. I feel bad. Uh, I keep doing it, one, because it's fun, and also two, because uh, I have an ego, and I like when people comment on my stuff. On Thanks for coming. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Um, like I said, I do it just to keep in touch with my buddy. <clears throat> and also because there's so much great stuff being put out, I want to still be part of the scene. I want to, I don't want to be the guy that did some good things a few years ago. Hmm. Uh, like uh, a while ago, I took a break because you were doing solo things and you were doing a Peace Walker with Start Cookie, which you should yeah. all watch, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. It's co-op, it's fantastic. Uh, the game and the LP. But I, I, I wasn't doing anything. And in that time, there were some great things that came out like, uh, Men drinking coffee, yes. who I think are yes. the funniest people making LPs today. I'm like, yes. all right, I gotta step up my game. I gotta get back in there. I gotta be smarter, faster, and funnier. And I, I gotta get this done. And I haven't, but I had the thought. Well. And so, so that's one thing that keeps me going. Mm. Nice. Uh, well, let's talk about the uh, variety of approaches out there for LPs. There's many different kinds, many different permutations. Mm. Would you guys care to elaborate? Well, uh, I think the slide sort of covers it. Um, if, we all if you could see the, I'll, I'll try to get the Venn diagram all the way there. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. right, yeah. I made so, it. <laughs> like I mentioned, there's a video or a screenshot, and there's hybrids. There's mm -hmm. people who post a lot of stuff, uh, like bonus uh, side things, as screenshots to get out of the way. There's a Xenoblade LP that yes. does that. Yes. Because there's a million side quests. Uh, or you can be uh, informative, or you can be funny, or you can toe that line. Because if you're just all one and none of the other. I don't think you're going to be that interesting, but that's my personal taste. Mm -hmm. Also, blind LPs, which are really dangerous. Some people can pull them off very Flame well. Flame fire. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's uh, kind of like listening to a train wreck. Deep, deeply prepared Let's Plays. Like, um, like if, if you watch other things, you can just imagine people who take like some things from the left, some things from the right, and on and on. Like, uh, like I don't know, you'd call Northern Lions a uh, million uh, Binding of Isaac fans. Oh, my God. As, I mean, it's spontaneous because he's doing live commentary, but he's also an expert yeah. and it's video and he's solo rather than group, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why it's spectrums. It's not an absolute thing. Well, there are also yeah. different kinds of formats. Some things that aren't technically LPs. But are kind of like a lot it. of stuff that's kind of on the line. Yeah, yeah. There are all kinds of different permutations. It's vague. Okay. It's hazy. It's like I know it when I see it. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, like uh, we talked about, let's play Thirteenth Age. That's by no real strict definition. It's not a let's play. We aren't doing a video game. We aren't producing video or any sort of visual uh, component. But we're all uh, let's play people who got together and started playing a game. We want to share it with a let's play audience. So we th uh, threw the name on there, and no one's complained yet. So. There are a lot of Let's Plays that could basically just double as podcasts, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. You don't even need the video for some of them. You're just there to listen to the people. Right. Now, how do you make an LP? <laughs> That's well, a, depends if you want it to be good I can not. read. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. No. Okay, so the first thing, if you're trying to you decide you want to do a Let's Play, the first thing is, do you actually want to show somebody a game you really like, or do you just want a video that people can see so that they can comment on it and then you can feel like you're getting attention or being popular, or or for some people trying to make money off it. I'm going to say you it. call that less valid. I'm just getting this uh, inkling. Hmm. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> now, I think the, the biggest component to actually making a good one is just either you just got to be interested in the game and even you either have to really like it or you have to have, like, even if you hate it, 
but you have a lot of criticism as to why it's bad, and you're interested in showing people, no, this game everybody likes is bad, or you know, here's why this game was such a train wreck, and like this all this like crazy development history behind it, why it ended up so bad. Um, that's like the main thing to actually making something good. Even if you have like not particularly great video quality or audio quality, I still think it's just mainly what the person has to say. But like, that's like the biggest part of making it good. Yeah, like since it's a commentary-based medium, like the insight of the commentator should be kind of rich, in mm -hmm. my opinion. And it's like the most boring videos is somebody playing like you know the ten thousandth Minecraft LP that day on YouTube. Yeah. And it's like, what can you even say about it? Everyone plays it. You don't have anything. New to say, it's just Minecraft, you know. Yeah, and there are some games that are certainly so popular that it's like, even if you're pretty good, you're gonna have to try like even harder to think up something to make yours interesting to watch. And so it's just not another Minecraft. Let's play another Call of Duty commentary multiplayer thing. I think a good one really is all in the planning. It's in making uh, your video, your style, whatever, fit the game and highlight its strengths or whatever it is you want to show off, even if it has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, but also, the last point is getting your workflow right. Whatever, um, wh whatever style, whatever approach you're doing, if you can streamline it, you will not want to jump off a building by yeah. uh, Update 5, <laughs> which is yeah, a lot of always it's, unfortunate. It's, uh, we've lost so many good nights. It's pretty easy to burn out on doing Let's Plays, you, especially if you don't have like a routine for them. And especially um, if it's huge, like yeah. how many like long JRPGs? Yeah, just <laughs> that's another thing. If you're like away. doing your very first Let's Play, don't be super ambitious. Go for something that's like a reasonable length. They, don't go for, don't go for like Xenosaga. They all say three you will end up hating the game you do. Yeah. And I think that's double true for your first one. Mm -hmm. um, I find this kind of funny because there's a JRPG I'm co-commentating on, and we're about 50 episodes in. It's supposed oh, to be, it was supposed to be really funny, and oh, it is man. funny, but the thing is, they start getting all these hypothetical bullshit science things, pardon my French, in the universe, and they, they use one phrase to describe another to describe uh -huh. another, and it's like the story's kind of tied itself in knots, and now I'm kind of like, <sighs> I don't really have anything to talk about. Of death. Well, I hope it's yeah. getting close to the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. I'm, to oh, I'm, to I'm told it's about a quarter of the way in. Huh. What? What game is this? Tales of Asperia. Oh. oh. And it the was my idea. That's the worst through part. The panel room. It was my Point idea. Point five. Never do a Tales Don't game. Don't do a Tales yes. game. Don't do it. <laughs> it was well, I mean, that text black, so you can't see it. <laughs> um, well, we've covered kind of work ethic and like things like timing and kind of picking the right <clears> game. What about? Equipment, like I mean, I know you can basically do it just as much with a copy of Fraps and a mic, but yeah. is there anything special that would let you use that really helps, or do you just kind of? Well, I rough started it? out with a Mac, and there's basically nothing good for Macs in the first place, but especially not whatever five, six years ago, whenever, yeah. whenever it was mm -hmm. I started. But I was on a Mac using iMovie to edit, which is awful and using an Elgato ITV, which had like a, a wonky uh, composite cable or whatever, component cable, and it was really janky. And I look back on that LP and I'm just like, oh my god, how did I think this was okay? I was experimenting with all sorts of uh, containers and file, ex file names, and I had no idea what I was doing. One episode would be a DivX, one episode would be an AVI, AVI one episode would be a, a MOV file. It looks better than like to keep them guessing, didn't you? Oh, it's a wreck. Yeah. I had no idea what I was doing. My tech advice is to get other people that know better and ask them, <laughs> how are you doing this better than me? And that and every, there's, there's everyone's sense is better. There's a lot of help. There's your um, one-up series mm -hmm. goes in the back. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily in detail for everyone's setup, but I mean, it's, it's a resource. It's a good place to start. Eh. There's, yeah. Tech there's, support for it is better. Yeah. There's also <laughs> the tech support for it as something awful, which is where we start our Let's Plays and where we still post them, um, which is kind of where a lot of Let's Play stuff first started off at. Um, when they made that uh, If anyone's visited lparchive.org, yes. you should. It's a great resource. Um, everything there is exclusively sourced from the LP subform on something awful. It's, uh, other people still try to get in, but they do, and those <laughs> emails Baldur, are hilarious. Yes. Well, Baldur's the one who did all of those LPs, I'm told. So yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, one man did all of those thousands of LPs. He's a fantastic vo voice actor too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but. Um, for the tech stuff, there there are a lot of resources out, resources out there. If you're doing anything on PC, that's probably the simplest thing to do because it's just fraps or even free alternatives out there. Um, there's like Revitune or something like that. Um, 
Microphones are really cheap now. You can get just like Logitech USB mics for twenty dollars, and they're pretty good. He's still using one we bought like in college. In in like this is it was the one that like way back like uh like at the end of No More Heroes. No, we bought it at like the yeah that's right yeah No More yeah. Heroes. It's that yeah. old. It's it's still working all right. It's still so. working all right. Yeah, so microphones are really cheap now. Uh, the US, always get a USB one just because the ones that go into like different audio jacks, they might need extra power or something, and then you're gonna get a lot of buzzing like in our BI Guniva LP, which is a nightmare. Also clean out your processor from cat hair. <laughs> don't 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 just don't record on a computer that's like having its processor melt, which is what was happening during the end. Any time a glitch happened in Beyond Guniva, it was because my computer was melting and I did not know. So I know how to build computers better now. Um, but yeah, it, even if you're doing something with a console or something, if it's something you can't emulate, like it's a PS, like current gen game or a PS3, or whatever, um, there are uh, tons of capture devices. They're getting even cheaper now. There's like the Elgato HD, which is what I use. That thing is usually 150 and can go on sale for like 99 dollars. It's also like the uh, Hoppage or Hoppage stuff. I don't oh, know how to say it. Don't get the Hoppage. It's bad. I've used that in the Elgato. It's yeah, I, I used to have the, that before, yeah, and it, I have the Hoppage HDPVR. It, it's like it, it'll it has a lifespan apparently. Yeah. After like four years, it just died. So like Elgato is probably the best one. It's also a lot smaller, and like it's really easy to set up. It's just you're hooking up the console to that, and then you just plug it into the USB port, and it just records files. That's it. Well, uh, now I want to get to the question we've all been waiting for: uh, How do you make money off of it? You don't. You don't. <laughs> no, that's wrong. You, you get a scare cam and you put your face like up in the top right. Step and one, be handsome. Thought, Step two, yeah. be annoying. I thought the scare cam was the bottom <laughs> right. Bottom uh, right. Be Swedish is optional, but it helps. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, but that being said, I mean, very few were able to make a living off yeah. of it. But there yeah. are ways to monetize them, even Eventually, in small ways. Eventually, I mean, if you're lucky, there's such yeah. a glut. There's such a huge flood of content. You've got to do it because you enjoy doing it. Uh, but if you're lucky, it can at least pay for itself. It can at least be neutral. Yeah, you know? like, I make some money off those videos we've been doing for a while. It's not a lot. Like, we have 20,000 some subscribers now, I think, and it's generally around 12,000 views per video, like, very consistently after, like, two weeks it's been posted. And I make somewhere around, depending on, like, what day it was viewed on, because I don't know entirely how all that stuff works, but it's generally around 400 to 800 a month. Yeah. It's not a lot, <laughs> and there's twenty, there's like twelve thousand people that watch those videos. Probably most of them seeing the ads. Yeah, and you have a huge backlog too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it's, you, you need uh, a lot of viewers. It's to not even, sending your kids to college. And, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not. Maybe that's why like all of the successful people have like a buttload of videos, and like they're, it's just well, yeah. sheer quantity. Yeah, yeah you just cast the net wide. Yeah, you need like a video almost every day because also for Probably that type of that. stuff, the 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 audience for those types of videos, they want content every single day. Like I've seen people on our videos and like other people's videos who, it, some people just want, oh man, I wish the videos came out faster because I love your stuff, but there's also other people who are like, why don't you upload every day? Because <laughs> they expect, they're so used to other people. They need to sleep. I got a nine to five, dude. They want I... a video game video every day. And, or they will leave. What if you just subscribe to seven people with up weekly schedules? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah. I, I fixed it. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, and there, there's specific things like, you know, ad revenue. Like, what, what are your primary revenue streams in terms of when you make money? Is it um, mostly ad revenue? Or? It's uh, the ad revenue on YouTube and the full screen partnership. We're full screen, right? Yeah, we're partnered with full screen, which is like, if any of you. I it's, just talk. It's, <laughs> uh, If. Anybody here ever does Let's Plays and you do get a sponsorship offer, if it's from full screen, that's great because I read their contract very thoroughly and they don't exploit the hell out of your videos like a lot of other places do. Like Machinima and all those places, they're like little things in those contracts. It's like... We own you forever. Yeah. yeah just a little thing. And like this drama has happened with other Let's Players before over that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you get, do get a sponsor, like the, the ad revenue from like Google AdSense and stuff will go up, but it's still very little. And it's not, it's not per viewer either. It's like CPM. It's it's based on like an hourly thing. Right. Uh, one thing that's just recent is uh, Patreon. If you're familiar with it, it's sort of like a recurring Kickstarter. Uh, you you sponsor a person in their continued efforts, and I think that's just started getting into LP. I'm aware of one that's raised eleven hundred in monthly pledges. My God. Which yeah. still is not paying rent, but it's more than everything they needed mm -hmm. for sure. Oh yeah. 
And I've, I've been kicking around the idea of doing it for LP13A because we are expanding, we're growing, we want to get a real professional uh, uh, website with our own hosting instead of borrowing it from people. We're going to get Dan to do it. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right. The, the designer, the web designer for LPRCOP.org, coincidentally. Uh, and so we aren't expecting that, but just to, like get more games because we want to spread out to a variety. It's going to be called Feats Don't Fail Me Now. <laughs> All right. Some people play D20 games. They get the pun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got chuckle. Right. Well, uh, since we, well, good thing that uh, LP has some sort of other benefits too, since you can't yeah. make money off of it necessarily, unless you try really, really hard and get really lucky. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there are other there are other benefits to LPs, like making communities, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Too. All the things I just read on um, that slide. <laughs> what do you do for a living now? Me? Yeah. Oh, I play video games for the internet. No, no the wait. Thing. For a no, living. I'm a graphic designer and video editor. Okay. Uh, where'd you learn video editing? Uh, I learned video editing from doing let's plays. Hey. Coincidentally, the job that pays me adult amounts of money. I got through connections from doing Let's Plays. Me too. See, Mom, I told you it'd be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing that led to the other thing. Yeah. 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 Nice. I got um, to interview Jeremy Blaustein because indirectly of LPs and Tom Hewlett. If you don't know who Jeremy... It's Jeremy Blaustein who translated... He right? translated Silent Hill. He translated Metal Silent Hill and the first Mel Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah. He's a pretty cool dude. And, and he did Police like, Knots. I think. I think he did yeah, Place Nuts. No, he didn't, he didn't translate Place Nuts because I never came over and yeah. okay, slowly right. he helped translate. I thought he was involved in some <laughs> slow. I don't know. Oh, he's so not cool. he's dead. Yeah. Uh, well, one, one interesting thing about, about LPs as well is that they'll also sort of bring to light or expose, expose more obscure or older games or even lost yeah. games to, yeah. to more uh, people. I think a cool effect, uh, a while ago, somebody made a master's thesis on Let's Play. It's called From, uh, From Jackasses to Superstars. I didn't name it, but I support it. Um, You're mentioned in it, aren't you? Extensively. You get quoted. You get, you, there's like a quote from you at the beginning of every section or something. Like, I'm quoted on the same page as Pierre Bourdieu, and that's the greatest moment of my life. When I read that. Uh, but he makes a point. One of the major sections is about game preservation, and uh, an LP is just this capture of what the game was like to players and as experienced. Like, just the code doesn't give you that. Just a commentaryless long play doesn't quite give you the same thing. And I thought that was really interesting. And if you want to see more details uh, and explained by someone who's got a better degree than I have, uh, you can look that up. Awesome. Well, uh, there are a couple things we, we still want to talk about with LPs before we move on. Uh, the stagnation versus innovation. Now, this is supposed to be a video, but yeah, but we, we don't have Wi-Fi. Load it, yeah. Oh, as you can see. We will describe it for you. It's the first two minutes of how? How'd you uh, put this together? It's his yeah, this is you. Hello, I am the cameraman. Um, <laughs> After Effects. Uh, no, I mean, like, did, was it just like Super Mario World, and you picked like the first fifty things? Or? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. went on YouTube, looked up Super Mario World, and uh, used Keep Vid, grabbed every single one I could find, as long as they had that intro screen on them, and. And they all play simultaneously, and it's a cacophony of madness. Yeah. <laughs> but it all sort of starts with, hello, my name is blank, and welcome to my Super Mario if World you Let's Play. You can see a couple of them have scare cams, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like a guy close to the bottom yeah. right. It <laughs> yeah. takes up like two thirds of the video. Who's yeah. scared of Super Mario World? Because that's what you really came to see. He looked at Yoshi, he's terrifying. Out of nowhere on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea for this to illustrate is um, doing it for fun is cool if you want to do it to be noticed, which, I mean, everybody does. Don't lie to yourself. Uh, if you wouldn't be sharing it publicly otherwise, but if you want to do it to be noticed, you're going to be lost in a million people who are all like, oh yeah, I saw somebody do Super Mario World. I can be funny about Super Mario World. I can do Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you could, but who's going to watch that as opposed to your thousand other options per day? Well, that actually reminds me. Another reason why I really enjoy doing Let's Plays is because a lot of the games I pick now are things I feel that either not a lot of people play them or even do Let's Plays of them, or they are things where I feel like there aren't really any like like super fans around for them that like present it like fully in a way like this is why it's great like specifically like something like we're going to be doing a lot of Wii U in the future, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Like, <laughs> and you know it's like character action games like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance or like Wonderful One and One stuff like that. There aren't too many people out there who really care like how the 
all of that works. There aren't like and all the videos for Revengeance people flopping around not knowing how it works. <laughs> yeah. Very Being like, and this I just, game sucks. That's another thing. Where I, really, I really like to let some people know about like less appreciated games or, you know, I haven't really done it for indie games yet except for Bastion, but I, I do enjoy the idea of helping promote a game that might not get promoted much otherwise. And like speaking of promoting games, like the Danganronpa LP, yeah. like may have had a huge hand in having it come to America yeah. and get. We've seen a good handful yeah. of Danganronpa cosplayers who would not know anything about it <laughs> if it weren't for that LP being huge. Uh, like it got a giant Tumblr following. Yeah. Uh, and other places as well. All right. Well. Um, we want to be able to get to the video real quick because yeah, there's some good stuff here. Left. So, so sorry. Uh, let's all let's all go uh, from Void Bigger on. One way that you can use one way that you can innovate LPs whenever you make I it. I thought I was in the safe seat and I would answer last. No, I had no. Time to think all the way at the end. I'm picking. Do you want to go the other way? How can you innovate? Let's like like, like what would you suggest to people who are doing LPs to make sure that they don't become stagnant? Care about them. I don't know. I feel like so many people are just like, well, I guess I'll play this game because everyone do does Super Mario World or Minecraft or, you know, oh, Titanfall just came out. I better do it day one. But it's like, do you really care about that game? Like, what are you actually bringing to the table? <laughs> but I don't know. Like, it's just when there's 10,000 people, you have to, like, set yourself apart. And I feel like a lot of people just care so much about quantity over quality. And I think it's. If anything's worth doing, it's worth doing right, and it should be right by you. And having passion, whether you hate it passionately or love it passionately, you should do it how you consider to be right. It, make it something you would want to watch. Like, if you had a friend who had never heard of Wonderful 101, like, how would you present it to your best friend who has never heard of this game, and you want them to really, really like it? And, like, why would you do anything less, in my opinion? Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, kind of on the same topic, it just seems there's a lot of, uh, well, tied with the glut and the stagnation, a lot of it's just monkey see, monkey do kind of things. You know, I'm like, well, there's a Swedish guy who kind of a different accent who screams over the videos. I think I'll do that. Well, that's not, not that I'm anyone in particular. You know, hypothetical Swedes. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Those hypothetical Swedes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's sort of like, well, he did this. He's the most popular. I will do the exact same thing. 29 million subscribers. Yeah. That, they're <laughs> nine. He can make a living. He, yeah. he makes a good He's living. living. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There are tons of copycats, not even oh, for yeah. him, but like yeah. for, for I wish we would have got a screenshot of it, but for like, you know, like there's the there's the great the, the grain grump. The game grumps. There are tons yeah. of dudes that are just blank grumps or game blank. Uh, and they the, all have the same the video critic, The blank gamer. Yes. The frustrated. Yeah. The perturbed. Yeah. <laughs> there's tons of those, man. Um when I do let's plays, like the one thing I never really think about like, oh man, how can I make this next one even greater or something? I lately, like with Revenge and some of the stuff we did before that, I've been thinking more about like game mechanics and game design in those, and I always try to think, what is the best way I could like present those in like a really deep way so people who are watching it really understand how the game works, even without playing it, so that you know if they play it, they'll go, oh, I know how to do all this stuff. I picked up all these sweet tricks and tips from the Nintendo Hotline. <laughs> and, yeah, so I just. Lately, it's just been mainly like game mechanics. I really want to be able to like display those people, especially for people who have like never thought about that. What? Uh, I think a thing to do is to look at unexploited niches. I think the next big thing is going to be someone finally making a really good video of an MMO. Uh, like every day on Twitter, I see my friends talking about the great uh, Final Fantasy XIV boss fight they ran, and also posting pictures of their characters in bathhouses goofing around. Yes. I think somebody could make a really great VLP of Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. And as soon as somebody d does that, it's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Nobody's made a good one before. I So yeah, look for niches. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah with, the re with the remaining time, we want to do a little bit of a Q&A. Mm. Um, now, since we're running short of time, do you want to have questions? Or um, like to come on, line up. Shout them out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What if you like maybe wanted to LP something, but you know that you're really shitty at video games? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's like that, uh, that's honestly fine. Even, as long as you're, you know, because you can still edit stuff. So as long as you're entertaining, and if there's any just like 
frustrating bits where there's, you know, you run out of commentary or something, you're just trying to get past the point, you can just easily edit, edit that out. Like, there are tons of Let's Plays that people aren't, like, super skilled. You can do tons of other things to make it really entertaining. I like great. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that hot at a lot of video games, but I know a shitload about Silent Hill, so I make up for it by being extremely thorough yeah. and as funny as I can be for such a weird uh, downer of a game series. <laughs> so there, it's not the most uh, important thing, I think. Um, sir. So today if you wanted to stream the gameplay in front of a lot of audience, uh, what kind of settings would you recommend? Like um, so for something like Twitch TV or something like that? Yeah, Twitch live stream. Um, so the easiest way to stream is just to get this program, it's a free program called uh, OBS, it's open uh, broadcast software. Um, and it's super simple, you can just like, you can just tell it which video, uh, window to capture from, it'll just say which game it's capturing from. Um, and for any settings, like Twitch, Twitch itself or like uh, Hitbox is a really good alternative right now because they have far less delay uh, between audience and you actually streaming, because like Twitch has changed how the servers work, so there's like a minute delay between the person streaming and like the actual people talking. Uh, OBS um, also works as a video recorder. Yes, and actually, it adds your audio. It's a one-stop, do it cheap thing. Yeah, so it, the OBS itself will, like mix the game audio and you together, and it's really easy to balance out the audio. Um, any um, settings uh, is pretty easy. Like Twitch itself has uh, on the help page, it'll have recommended settings, but uh, it's a lot of this stuff can just be left alone. It's like the only thing you need to change is like the bit rate, which be like, really depends what how fast the internet is. But like a thousand to fifteen hundred kilobits per second for your video is fine. We had one. Yes. Uh, who's your least favorite Let's Player? <laughs> Him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the hat. We uh, collected yes. questions from people who couldn't make it today. Would you like to do the honors? Let me get hat. Um, this one comes from Zach Dude. Favorite LP you've personally done? Thank you, Zach Dude on Twitter. Um, I'm gonna go somebody else. <laughs> it's it's revenge. It's revenge. It's revenge. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I, re I was really happy with how yeah. every single video that turned out. Uh, I'd say Dark Souls. I like doing that. Yes, yeah, so please check out his D Dark Souls LP. It's pretty crazy. It's great. There's yeah. A lot yeah. Of, there's a lot of fun behind. Yeah. I think I might like Origins the best, my first one, just because there's a fursuit in it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Beautiful. I somehow timed it out so like all the unlockable costumes just perfectly worked out for all the videos. I didn't plan it, it just worked and I was like, oh, cool. Um, anyone on the floor? To the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is... Oh, 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 go. Go for it. What's your favorite video game? Revengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. That's also a good choice. The Stanley Parable. That's not a video game. You're not here. Yes, it is. <laughs> walking yes. Simulator. What? It's my favorite walking simulator. It's good. All right. Well, we have the one minute thing, okay. so this will be the. Uh, the last one. What are your plans for replacing PAX with a new, better convention? Come to Chicago. Yeah, just come yeah. here. It's <laughs> honestly. <There you> <laughs> uh, that came from the T on Twitter. I love you, the T. Uh, well, in our final minute, uh, we should wrap up. Uh, again, where can people find you and your LPs? Chipandironicus.com. Also, Chip Cheese and LPs, not LP, on YouTube. Also, 13questions.tumblr.com. That's our clearinghouse for Let's Play 13th Age. I'm on Twitter as Voidburger, and YouTube as Voidburger, and I'm just Voidburger. Just look me up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just on Twitter under GeoffLP. Uh, another thing, uh, I'm going to be on Elka Hollywood in a few weeks for my fifth time. Uh, just a couple days ago, episode 25 of Blastro Podcast went up, and I'm on that one. Did right. you listen to it yet? No, I haven't. It's I, great. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I personally look forward to it, and I hope you do too. Uh, and yes, as he said before, I am Clint. Uh, you can find me at alcohollywood.com if you like drinking, and if you like uh, watching movies and doing both at the same time, that would be great. <laughs> and that is our sign. The time is up. Thank you all so much for yeah, coming to the Play panel. So happy so thank you so much. Have a good rest of your